But I'll mention one area. One of the biggest transformation we're going to see from AI in the near term is health and medicine. AI can now simulate billions of molecules and sort through them in record time. So for example, at the very start of the COVID pandemic, Moderna used AI to design and optimize mRNA sequences. In just two days, they had the formula for the successful vaccine, two days. Uh, the pace was stunning. It usually takes five to 10 years. Moderna also relied on AI to accelerate manufacturing and testing, which got this out very quickly. Going forward, we'll use biological simulations to find cures for all diseases like cancer, Alzheimer, uh, and we'll replace human trials with digital trials. So instead of testing things on humans, which take years, we'll test them simulated and we won't just test them on like a few hundred, 500 or maybe a thousand different humans. We'll test them on a million and we'll do that in a matter of days. It'll be much more accurate and a thousand times faster. These incredible breakthroughs are going to lead to what we call longevity escape velocity. Right now, as you live through a year, you use up a year of your longevity. However, if you're diligent about healthcare and nutrition, and I assume that all of you will be, I estimate you'll get back as much as four months per year today from breakthroughs in scientific understanding, coming up with new cures, new treatments. In other words, you only lose about eight months of longevity in the year. And as we apply AI to medicine, these breakthroughs are going to advance exponentially. So by roughly 2032, when you live through a year, you'll get back an entire year from scientific progress. And beyond that point, you'll get back more than a year for every year you live. So you'll be going backwards in time as far as your health is concerned.